Hello friends, in this video, I am going to illustrate a functionality in Thingsboard IoT platform that is RPC that stands for Remote Procedure Calls. Thingsboard is an open source IoT platform. For more details about Thingsboard, please watch my previous video. Here I am posting the links of my previous video in the description section. Our main goals through this video is to get an idea about RPC functionalities in our Thingsboard IoT platform and I will illustrate this functionality through a demo. RPC is among the simplest and most foolproof web service approaches that make it easy for computers to call procedures on other computers. That is, we can request a service from a program located in another computer on a network without having to understand the network details. Thingsboard allow us to send remote procedure calls from server-side application to devices and vice versa. This feature allows to send commands to devices and receive results of the command. Thingsboard RPC feature can be divided into two types based on the originator. Device originated and server originated RPC calls. Device originated RPC calls known as client side RPC calls. Server originated RPC calls known as server side RPC calls. This figure will represent the flow of how client side RPC works. Here client is the originator. So client will send a RPC request to the Thingsboard IoT platform and in response to the request Thingsboard send a RPC response. Next we will have a look at RPC request and RPC response. RPC request is basically a JSON string whose root element is a method call element. Each method call element contains a method name element and a params element. The method name element identifies the name of the nature to be called, while the params element contains a list of parameters and their values. RPC responses are much like requests with a few extra twists. If the response is successful, procedure was found, executed correctly and returned results, then the RPC response will look much like a request, except that the method call element is replaced by a method response element and there is no method name element. The request body should be a valid JSON ob object with two elements, method that is a JSON string and a param that is a method parameter that is of a JSON object. RPC response are much like request if the response is successful then returns results. RPC response can only contain one parameter. After the response is delivered from the RPC server to the RPC client, the connection will be closed. Follow-up requests need to be sent as separate RPC connections. Thingsboard support MQTT, HTTP and QIAP protocols. In this illustration, I am using MQTT protocol API. So in client-side RPC, the client will be the originator. So client the device have to send a RPC request to the Thingsboard. So in order to send RPC command to the server, we need to send publish message to the following topic. Where the request ID is an integer request identifier. So it can be of any integer. So the response from the server will be published in the following topic. So the request ID is the same ID that we used for the request. So the request ID is just a convenience for the client to keep track of which response goes with which request. So next we will have a look at a demo on client side RPC. In the demo, the client device will request for a customer mail ID as RPC request to the Thingsboard IoT platform. In response, the server will respond by sending the mail ID of the customer in response as RPC response. So let's see the client side RPC demo. So this is the Thingsboard IoT platform which I installed locally on my system. So this is a test device I created for this demo. And under this not attribute section, in server as a server attribute. I added a attribute called email. So this is my will my email for the for this demo. 
so i that my client want to retrieve this email from this server so in the analytics part i want to send my email to the client so for that i created one rule chain so the message will from the client will be comes to this node so based on the message it will filters the message based on this uh, based on the type so now i am in only interested in R rpc request from the device so rpc request from the device will be coming this way and this node will validate the me message so now i want to interested on the method called get email so whenever the message come with this method will be forwarded the other message will be logged in this section so this node will load my server attribute that's my uh, that's a email address and this is one transformation node so this will create message so if this will load my mail id from the data structure output of the node will be my message that will be my email and this node will send the rpc reply so this is the logics for the analytics part so let's get into the program so this is the python script i'm using for it so i'm using maho by mqtt client and you can have your things board host ip here and access token here so let's run this code so this is the output message i get it from the server so you can see my the method is as the method i say send it from the client as like a, it's a get me and in params you can get you can see that my mail id is the server sent the mail id in the param section so this is the mail id which i created on the server uh, that server send that mail id to the client through this param parameter this demo illustrate the client side rpc on things board iot platform this code is all uh, available in the description section so if you want to try it on your system just change your ip of the things board and just change your access token let's look at the uh, server side rpc next we will have a look at server side rpc server side rpc can be divided into two one way and two way one way server side rpc and two way server side rpc in server side rpc the things board iot platform will be a originator this figure illustrates the one side or server side rpc things board will send a rpc request to the device in one way there is no need of a rpc response from the device in the case of two way server side rpc things board will send a rpc request to the device and in response to the rpc request the device will send a rpc response so in server side rpc the things board iot platform is the originator so things board will send a rpc request to the device and in response device will send the rpc response to the, to the things board so in order to subscribe to the rpc command from the server we need to subscribe the following the message from this topic once a device is subscribed so the device will receive individual messages or individual commands from the server in the following topic so here also the request id is the integer request identifier so the the client can publish the response to the in the following topic next we will have a look at a demo that illustrates one side and two side server or server side rpc so in this demo i'm using two method set value method and get value method so server will request to end device to change the temperature of the temperature controller as rpc request and in response end device will change the temperature value of the temperature controller 
while as in get value method server will request for the temperature as rpc request to the end device and in response end device will send that temperature value as rpc response let's see server side rpc demo in devices i created a, a device called thermal the temperature controller and just copy this access token we need it on our python script and this is the program which we are using for the controlling and getting value from the temperature controller so i made this uh, this code is will be available in the description section so just change this ip and the access token of your things board device so let me run this code So this is the dashboard which I created for the temperature controls controller and this widget is uh, is a control knob and we can set the temperature to is a rotatory knob and this is one time series uh, chart this widget is all available in the things board itself so it shows its current temperature value of the temperature controller value so now the temperature controller is in uh, 26 degree celsius accurate value will be 25.56 so whenever i want to change set the new value i can slide this to a new value so you can see it automatically reflect on the graph so it basically how it works means uh, this widget will set the value and this widget will get the value from the uh, device so here using this rotatory knob i can change to any value so it automatically get reflect on the graph the temperature we are changing through this knob that is we are setting through this rotatory knob it also also reflected on this uh, device to client device so we can notice even the so these are the temperature received from the things board iot platform that is the server so based on the value even client can do some any task based on this uh, temperature value so suppose when I am setting a temperature uh, 20 and I am just uh, exiting from the dashboard. So whenever I get back to the same dashboard, so the previous will be value will be automatically restored. So you can see the 20 degree will be automatically restored. So this all how, how it work means in our program. We set whenever uh, we, we refresh the dashboard or whenever uh, we get into the dashboard, first the server will call this method called get value. So in get value, we, uh, we give an instruction to the device that whenever the get value is called, so it will send the current temperature value to the uh, things about IoT platform. So this is the logic how it, it works. So you can customize as you on your own way. So this demo illustrates the server side RPC in Thingsboard IoT platform. And uh, you can notice that in this demo, we are illustrating uh, two side and one side or server side RPC. So using this node, this node have two methods called set value and get value method. So this get value method that illustrates the two way server side RPC and that set value method which displayed on this graph that illustrates the one way server side RPC. So this is the demo for uh, server side RPC. So we reached the end of the video. So thanks for watching the video and thank you and have a nice day.